Hello and welcome. My name is Paul Banyan. I'm one of the sales engineers at Hard Dollar Corporation. In today's session, we're going to learn about how you can put factors onto the man hours that are being used in your project to take into consideration things such as confined space, difficulty level, or location, and how we can do it very easily and quickly, applying it at either an activity level or to the entire project. So in today's example, we're in a shutdown turnaround outage project. And in this case, we have some exchangers that we need to take out and clean. And for the first example, we're going to take a look at dismantling some of the components. For example, this dollar plate. When I double click on this item to open up the cost item record, uh, you'll notice that I can go over to the man hour factors uh, tab here on the right and we can see that I have different options that I can name such as difficulty, season, weather, confined space. Now these names were applied by myself by going up to the view menu on the hard dollar desktop and going to customize. When I go to customize you'll notice that I actually have a man hour factors option and that's where I can name the different factors that I want to define. Having done so, I can now put a man hour factor, in this case we'll do one for a difficulty level of 1.75. In other words, for this shutdown work, I know because of the positioning of those exchangers that we're going to need to put a factor on there. It's going to take longer for the manpower to get this done. Once I've entered in that 1.75, you'll notice that it totals up a factor composite down below. What that means is, let's say because of uh, weather conditions as well, because the portion where we're working is outside and it's in the winter time, that we also are going to have a factor of 1.5. So down below, my composite now becomes 2.62. In other words, I am able to have multiple factors that I can apply as needed. If we jump now back to the production tab, we see that we have uh, my original number of days and man hours and, and other production values, man hours per unit. I also now have my factored production values, so I have my days are now factored, my man hours, and how many man hours per unit. This all then calculates with the crew that I have on the left. In this case, it's an exchanger bolting crew, which consists of these different levels of boiler maker and some equipment to give me now a new unit in total cost. As I make these changes and put on these man hour factors, if I click OK on here, and get back to the main screen, I can also see the factoring of those man hours right here on the register. And right now I've made a factor just on that one particular item, but if I wanted to go ahead and apply a factor to more than one item at the same time, or even to the entire project, I can do that as well. In this case, we'll select all three of these items. And if I right click and click open, now the cost item record I have is in what we call multi-edit mode. So if I go to my man hour factors now, I see that it's representing all of the selected items. So if I now put a factor of say 1.5 on difficulty and change weather to 1, I will now see, if I click OK, that it has applied those factored man hours to all three of those items. So this is a great, very simple way to be able to make adjustments to the man hours and the costs in your projects simply with a couple of clicks to take into consideration location, difficulty, confined space, or really any other factor that may be causing your production to go down. Thank you very much. We will talk to you next time.